I just got this night vision binocular package in the mail today so I thought real quick now once we would uh, take a look at see what we get and uh, do a quick uh, quick overview of the thing and yeah make a make a, re a review video about it uh, it's pretty much midday for me so I won't be able to test it out until tonight but in the meantime we can see what we get uh, yeah that stuff I uh, don't believe it said anywhere in the uh, product description but it does come with a carrying bag at least I don't recall it saying that anywhere anywho carrying bag um, whatever that is uh, cleaning cloth and uh, USB cable and I think that's it yep that's gonna be the end of that this oh strap there's a yeah strap right there uh, yeah. all right <laughs> uh, I guess yeah yeah it looks a little something like that anyway um, that's what it looks like get a little closer here maybe you can see the top is there a glare probably but uh, Hopefully you can see what it's all about there. All right, um, so that's that. Tonight, when it gets dark, naturally, I'm going to power it up and yeah, see what uh, see what it does here. To, you know, in pitch black. Of course, it's supposed to rain tonight, so that might also be a good test. I don't know if it'll be foggy or not, but uh, probably not until tomorrow morning. It's been normally when the fog rolls in here. Anyway, um, wait until tonight, try it out, and uh, yeah, I'll show and tell then when uh, there's more to show. Alright, it's uh, rolling down here, afternoon like, and uh, just thought real quick, do a little show and tell during the day of what I'm going to show you tonight. See that uh, uh, trailer, not trailer, the uh, camper all the way out there. That's just a boot. Uh, 300 feet away from where I'm standing. Uh, I know that because I have 200 feet of garden hose and that gets me all the way to the end of that uh, grass covered garden out there. Uh, another 100 foot would probably get me, you know, pretty pretty darn close to the, uh, the camper. So anyway, it's it's somewhere between three and 400, but I'm thinking a little closer to three if you're just doing a straight line. I'm talking diagonally uh, when I run the hose. So. Uh, I think a straight line it's going to be real real close to 300 foot um yeah this is a about a 5 p.m shot uh, going on six now and uh we're going to do the same thing with the uh, night vision goggles and see what that looks like and go from there i thought real quick here we just do an indoor shot during the day and uh, see what this thing does you know pretty much during normal daylight conditions only we are indoor and I'm just trying to focus in here on a pretty kitty and that's about the name of the game here just a quick little short show and tell okay it's about nine o'clock now and uh, well we are in a flood zone and we just recently got a flood warning so everything is the same it's just uh, well somewhat elevated anyway this is where I was standing before looking straight out there I have a solar powered light that is just illuminating this this area right here come on camera come back to me come on <laughs> camera there we go uh, the uh, this this is a, a Panasonic G9. In case you were wondering, this is what I'm recording with. Um, yeah, I, I I can't see nothing. It's it's pitch black everywhere, everywhere out there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you on this tripod and. Uh, 
bear with me just one second. I'm gonna grab the uh, uh, binoculars here. I think we can see this. Hopefully, maybe turn it on. Hopefully, this is focusing. I don't know. Can you see? Probably not. There's the uh, the cat house. Um, Got to turn the light on. The uh, infrared light, that is. Once I turn that on, now you can start seeing a whole lot more, right? Um, I think at this point is where I'm going to switch over to the video that is actually coming from this uh, binocular setup. So I'm going to change modes here. And I'm going to start recording at the uh, this cat house. Okay, so um, the the audio I'm recording with my Panasonic G9, looking at the cat house here, and uh, the IR light is on. I'll turn I'll turn the IR light off. And now we're just using the porch light. And uh, yeah, it doesn't, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't do bad for no light at all. I can still see some, some things anyway. <clears throat> uh, but when you, this is level one, when you turn the IR light on, there's level one. And, uh, oh, kitty. <laughs> uh, that should be Gracie. And we can zoom in. And I need to focus. Manual focus only. I think we got her. Right? Um, anyway. Let's, uh, this is, this is power level one. There's that, uh, the boat and the trailer. Here, let me, uh, I was two steps higher when I showed you this before. Let me back up just a little, just a little. I was right here when I showed you that the last time during the daytime, that same view, that's power level one. Level one. Well, I don't recall doing much of a panning sweep, but uh, okay. Level one, level two, and uh, let me uh, back off the zoom. Sorry, let's try that again. Level one, I'm standing right here. I mean, I'm right, right where I was. There's my uh, support beams. There's a massive cobweb. Wow, boy, does that thing stand out. Anyway, level one, level two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and none at all. So, uh, yeah, take your poison there, but uh, that is pretty impressive. I had, oh, I don't even remember the brand name. It was such a piece of crap, I hated it, I sent it back. And I'm just gonna say it real quick. I have a little bit of experience with these night vision monoculars and binoculars. Uh, I had a monocle, yeah, it's not a monocle, I, 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 one of the, the one eye pieces kind of a thing, uh, a mono, monocular. And uh, it uh, was very less than impressive. I mean, that's power level one. Here, let me turn it off. See what I mean? Power level one. That's pretty damn impressive. I'm sorry, guys, but that's just, that's what I expected. This is what I expect for, you know, in the 100 and... 
twenty to hundred and forty, hundred and fifty dollar range. You know what I mean? This is that's that's power level. That's light. Whatever power light power level one. That is that is good. Wow. Neighbor's house. No neighbor's house. Well, I mean, there he's got a light on, right? He can't see that light, but my goodness. And he's, I don't know, he's quite far away. Uh, 100 and, eh, about 100 and a quarter, 125 feet, give or take. This, uh, that trailer out there, camper, that's at least 300. It, it might be a little lower, maybe a touch under, but I'm sure it's a good 300 feet right there. And like I said earlier, I, I, I know this because, well, I can measure with garden hose. Um, and I know garden hose gets me to uh, about the corner of the garden right there. And I, hey, I can zoom in. So why don't I just show that to you? Diagonally, it'll get me to about right there. The, the, the corner where you see all that grass. And I can turn the light up. I don't know if that's exactly beneficial, <laughs> but turn it down. All right, I am. I am very happy with this. I like this. I like it a lot. Uh, this this is worth the money to me. Like I said, that that monocular, that monocle thing, that that one eye piece, night vision thing that I had before. No, I'm sorry, just no. That thing was garbage. Um, <laughs> this is where you want to be. If you're going to spend a buck fifty, you know, spend it here. This uh, this works. This is what I would expect for the money. Can you can you see the infrared light? Can this camera see infrared light? I don't know. I guess we're going to both find out. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not. I can't see it on this little baby screen, but I, I can see the, the, the screen of the thing that I'm holding. So I'm going to turn the power level on to one. And I can see that. I got my arms all the way stretched out so I can see it, but I can see it. Anyway, let's see if we can see it. Does this camera see it? Oh, yes, it can, right? Hmm? So here's the, the recording, the video lens. And here is your IR light. So that's power level one. Okay, so oh, and I can see. Oh, yeah, it's it's red on to my eyeballs. I, I mean, when I point it at my eyes, I can. It's purple on this camera screen, but when I look at it, no, it's it's red. Um, so yeah. All right, I don't need to turn that up because I don't know if that's good or bad or <laughs> different. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to damage my camera. My eyes are already screwed, so, you know, no harm, no foul there. Anyway, um, I just wanted to, uh, I just thought about it, and then I, well, I thought we'd just test it real quick. So, uh, all right, now we know. Alrighty, time to finish off this review. I believe that uh, this is one of your absolute best bangs for the buck. Uh, like I said, I have a little bit of experience with these, and uh, the last one that I had was a uh, monocular, and uh, that thing was horrible. I, I, it just was. I, I couldn't stand it. I sent it back. This is infinitely better for just a couple dollars more, and in literally a couple dollars more. So, in this price range, you know, this is this is reasonable performance. I, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but. Uh, you know, I, I think for the money, well, you, you certainly get your money's worth. You know, you, you saw the, the stuff that comes with it, and, uh, you know, it's, it's real simple to use. I didn't have to go to the manual to uh, understand anything. Clearly, I broke the box, but, uh, you know, I got it tucked away, and it's uh, included uh, self-storage pouch here. Nice. Um, yeah, guys, really good stuff. Uh, I got nothing to complain about here. It's not, you know, military grade by any stretch of the imagination. It's not uh, perhaps industrial grade, but for what you spend, for what you get, the performance that you uh, can get out of this, 
you know you you've you've seen that in uh in the video um yeah pretty hard to argue with i think actually i think it's almost impossible to argue with at this price point so uh, again good job guys and that's going to wrap up uh, the video here i'll finish off in the written review and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it